Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial series. In this series we are going to learn how to work with PyTorch. PyTorch is one of the most popular machine learning and deep learning frameworks. It's really fun to work with it and develop cool applications. So I hope you watch the series and learn all about the necessary basics for this framework. So in this first video I show you how we install PyTorch. So let's start. And for this we go to the official website pytorch.org, then click on get started, then select the newest PyTorch build, so right now this is version 1.3, then select your operating system, so in my case it's a Mac, then select the package manager with which you want to install PyTorch, so I highly recommend to use Anaconda. And if you haven't installed Anaconda yet and don't know how to use it, then please watch my other tutorial about uh, Anaconda. So I will put the link in the description below. And then select the newest Python version. So here I select Python 3.7. And unfortunately on the Mac you can only install the CPU version right now. But if you are on Linux or Windows and want to have GPU support, um, then you can also install or have to install the CUDA toolkit first. So the CUDA toolkit is a development environment for creating high performance GPU accelerated applications. For this you need an NVIDIA GPU in your machine. And if you have that, then you can go to the website developer.nvidia.com slash CUDA minus downloads and then we have to be careful because right now the newest supported CUDA version by PyTorch is CUDA 10.1 so we have to get this version so right now the newest version is 10.2 so we have to go to legacy releases then select the newest CUDA toolkit 10.1 then select your operating system so for example Windows, Windows 10 then download the installer and follow the instructions and this will also check if your system is suitable for the CUDA toolkit so if this is successful then we can go back to the PyTorch site and copy this command so in my case on the Mac now I need this command so let's copy this and now let's open up a terminal and first of all we want to create a virtual environment with Conda in which we want to install all of our packages and install PyTorch so let's create a environment let's say Conda create minus n and now give it a name so I call this PyTorch simply PyTorch and then also specify the Python version so let's say Python equals 3.7 and then hit enter now this will create your virtual environment with Python 3.7 let's hit enter again to proceed and this will take a while and now it's done so now we can activate this environment with conda activate PyTorch and now we are inside of this environment and we can see this because here in the beginning we have uh, PyTorch in parentheses so this is the name of the environment and now let's paste our uh, installation command from the website so this will install PyTorch and all the necessary packages. So this will also take a couple of seconds. Now again let's hit enter to proceed. And now it's done. So now we have installed PyTorch and we can verify that by starting Python inside this environment. So let's say or type Python and enter. And now we have Python running and now we can import the Torch module. So if the installation was not correct then right now you would get a module not found error. But in this case it is correct. And now we can for example create a Torch tensor. So let's say x equals Torch 
dot rand and of size three. And now we want to print our tensor. So this also works. And now we can also check if CUDA is available. So we can say tor torch.cuda dot is underscore available. So in my case, it says false, but if you've installed the CUDA toolkit and also the GPU supported um, PyTorch packages, then this should say true. So yeah, so now we have installed in a, on a, uh, PyTorch and can get started working with it. So I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.